it's Joe Tamarga from wetheadpumprepair.com. All right, so you've seen me in the other videos when I made the new through bolt out of a threaded rod from Granger. What I've done now is I've got some machine thread nuts that I bought, also bought from Granger, and I've spin them right on the end here, just like this, okay? I spin them right on the end, and I stick a little bit of the threaded rod through there. If you can see that, all right, I probably have like a quarter inch or something like that sticking through. Now I'm gonna take it and put it in my vise right here, my handy dandy vise. And I'm going to tighten the top up just like that. You see that? Now I'm going to this nut just a little bit. So I'm going to have probably about an eighth of an inch sticking out of that nut. All right. I'm going to get my vise into position just like this. All right. So now I got my vise in position. I got this nut right here. I got about a quarter inch to an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch sticking out of the top of the nut. Okay. I'm going to tighten my vise down just like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this top of this up so it gets red hot and I'm going to pound it down. Now you say to yourself, wow, that's kind of crazy. But where else do you need these rules? And you know what? This is how they used to do it in the old days. It's kind of funny, but you want to fix that pump and save $300 and not buy a new one. You know what I mean? Why send your money to China? You know, do it the American way, man. You know, take your pump apart, fix it. You can get the whole rebuild kit from us. Two bearings, a seal from me and Robert for like 31 bucks, and you saved yourself a lot of money. Because a new pump, right, I think is about 400 bucks these days. You get the parts for 30 spend some time in the garage. You know what I mean? Get the tool room going like Tim Taylor. And ready to go. All right, so here we go. We're gonna heat this up now. We're gonna heat this nut up like this. We got some nap gas on this torch. We get this thing nice and hot. Just like this. Now you can see here, my nut's gonna start getting really hot too. Alright, so you want to heat it up just like this until it gets red, cherry red. You can see now, see it's just starting to turn cherry right now. Alright, my man Robert's gonna zoom in there. Let's pick the whole thing up, buddy. There you go. Robert's gonna zoom in and show you what we're gonna do now. So we got this thing cherry red. Alright, Robert. So you got that cherry red in there, buddy? Mm -hmm. You see that thing's cherry red. So what we're gonna do now is while it's hot, just like in the old days with the blacksmith, we're gonna heat this up and tap it down. You see that? It's smushed right in there. And what that's gonna do is seal it. You wanna be able to go to the blacksmith. Alright. Back it up, buddy. Alright, so now you can see that I've got that nice and hot. I've got my nut on there, so once this cools down, I have now just made a new threaded rod. Okay, well, which is now my through bolt. So I've, what I've done is taken my nut, put it on the end, and now I have a brand new way to make through bolt. So if you look at make a new through bolt for your motor, there it is, just like that, brand new through bolts. And they cost less than a dollar a piece. All right, this is George Margo. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.